All right, welcome back. Reactions after the Kogi State Governor Yaya Bello altered award says any protesters we see will have themselves to blame. All right, and then on to this one, the Kogi government had you no know, stated in its words, and then on to this, it said protesters must be ready to face the full rot of the law. All right, the news in details. The Kogi state government has warned that the state will not tolerate any protest on Saturday, June 12. It said protesters must be ready to face the full route of the law. And the meanwhile, through the state security advisor, Commodore Jerry Omodara said no group of persons had indicated interest in protesting. He still want protective he still warned prospective protesters on Friday to stay away from Kogi while briefing journalists on the proposed nationwide protest slated for June 12, Democracy Day. All right, he said available data before us has shown that Kogi is the safest state in Nigeria. As we feel the pulse of the nation, we narrow it to Kogi. The pulse of the nation right now is that there are so many online reports of a nationwide protest on June 12, 2021. All right, according to statement, it says we have looked at it and uh, we have done our check through the commissioner of police and there is no association group or individuals that have applied for permission to protest or carry out any work. The police have not granted any permission either. All right, and then it says, I have cross-checked with other security agencies, and then we have seen that as a government, there is no reason for anyone to come out in Kogi or in any part of the state to protest on Saturday, June 12th. It is a known fact that the state has remained peaceful when it was COVID-19 time. The government did not shut down the state. We continued with our legitimate businesses. All right, and then when it was the time for answers, Governor Alhaji Yayabelo came out to support the youth, but the state didn't join the answers protest. This is because the government is with the people. If we are enjoying unlimited security in the state compared to what we are seeing in other parts of the country, it is important we give peace a chance. I have also cross-checked with the student body and uh, they met with the commissioner of police on Wednesday and they stated categorically that they won't be part of the protest. Any youth we see tomorrow Saturday coming out to protest should have himself to blame. The governor is not going to allow anyone to disrupt the peace we are enjoying in Kogi state. It is not that the challenges we are having in other states, we are not feeling them here, but the government is making a serious effort to nip them before they emanate. Just three days ago, three suspects with Hami uniform came out in a Jaukuta local government area. The security agency came out and then confronted them and then confronted them and they brought them down. All right, the government will keep on appreciating what the people of Kogi State are doing, giving us relevant information as well as supporting the security agencies will go a long way in combating insecurities. Let no one obstruct businesses or obstruct movement of people. This is a warning. I have instructed the security agencies, if you see them patrolling, don't be afraid. They are only going out to keep peace. People should continue their normal businesses. The government of 
Governor Yayabelo is notorious for human rights abuses. Two Buhari must go protesters, Larry Emmanuel and uh, Vito Udoka, have been detained by the Kogi state government since April 5th, despite national and uh, international voices calling for their release. All right, and they were humiliated, arrested, and uh, detained for pasting anti President Muhammad Buhari posters in the state. All right, my people, and then that has been it on this one. The government of Kogi State has said that any protester seen protesting against the presidency, the president, in fact, eh, as it is right now, that, that such a person would find himself to be blamed. That's serious. All right, my people, well, this is not no funny at all. I tell you. Because now, majority of people are not happy. I, I see no reason why you will be in a country, a country whereby you voted in someone. We call this country a democratic country. Country whereby you should have your freedom of expression, freedom of speech, but it has not gotten to a level whereby it is being governed in a forceful way, if we might put it in that way. It was supposed to be a democratic government. We thought it's a government whereby everyone is free to express it herself, but it has gotten to a level whereby it's no longer a government of the people for the people and by the people. It's now a forceful regime, which is not supposed to be. Majority of people have, you no, know, in fact, they have made up their minds that this regime we can no longer continue. It's better we go her separate ways. And with reactions that have been gathered, majority of people, you know that. Many people are so tired of this same country, whereby you, you are not free to express yourself, of which nothing is working. According to Amaobi, he has said that, well, behold, your leaders, we are in hell. In this contraption called Nigeria, the vision is the solution because there is no change in sight. That's serious. That is to tell you that everyone is just mm, fed up. Because mm. we see no reason, reason whereby you will be in a country, you don't have rest of mind, nothing is working. Majority of people, as we speak right now, cannot even afford a meal in a day. Yes, that is the country we are in right now. So what are we talking about? What are we telling ourselves? Have you ever thought of the fact that why are people always protesting that no, 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 they are not happy? Why? Most of all these leaders, they know what is going on, but yet they have refused to listen. They don't care. If uh, the rate of dollar gets to 600 naira per dollar, it doesn't matter. By the time it gets to 1,000, they will tell you that we will still cope. Yes, we will still be fine. That is the problem. That is where we have found ourselves right now. And then on a the daily basis, things are getting more expensive by the day. A common man cannot even afford a paint rubber of Gary. Hmm, my brother. Then you, would, they would, you used to tell us that, okay, ah, Gary, now nah, when you soak Gary, that you are a poor man. But nowadays, my brother, if you happen to soak Gary, you are a rich man because Gary is expensive. You can't afford it if you are not rich. Well, too bad, my people. And then that has been it on this one. Meanwhile, let me have your take on this, my people. And remember to subscribe for more updates. Thanks and God bless.